here we go again, back with more Volta Espana season 2016 on Pro Cycling Magazine season 2016. Today we have uh, stage 8 from Villapando to Lambu La Camperona Valle di Sabero. It is probably the first mountain stage of this entire, uh, yeah, what's it called, Volta Espana. There's been a lot of hill stages and it is classified as a hill state as well because there's, the last climb isn't that long, but it's still very long and it's the only climb of the day, so it's going to be a pretty boring stage. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't think I'll win this stage because there's no, not really a ramp you can uh, weaken your opponents on and I think it'll probably just be the be between the riders with the best mounts, that's which is of course Froome, Quintana and Contador. I think they're all around 84, 83 mounts, that's... But I hope Chavez can at least stay with them and maybe even take a surprise stage win, or at least minimize the losses if he has a bad day. Let's get into the stage. Okay, last 20 kilometers now and we, for some reason, decided to put Swank in the breakaway. Once again, Jones isn't working. Uh, every time I place him, I actually control troops for what I did this at the start of the race was attack. Then when I press attack here, you can see it, I attack with tooth, so that's actually the reason why he ends in the breakaway. I wanted to put <laughs> Chance in the breakaway, but I ended up putting someone, someone completely different. I don't know what's happening. If, you, if you, any of you guys had this bug before, let me know. But yeah, Tabs are just attacked and he's probably going to be the last survivor from this breakaway. I don't think this break will make it to the end, but it might just. They still have around 4 minutes up to, to a tap start here. Actually going to attack with Swine Tooth here. Tap size, how good in the mountains? Not that great actually. Uh, the good news is Chavez is looking amazing. Just look at his stats 68 flat, 85 mountains, 85 hills, 67 times, 672 prologue, 61 cover runs, doesn't mean matter. 68 sprint, 73 acceleration, 80 downhill, 81 fighter, 81 stamina, 87 restitution, and 80 recovery as well. And this is also the first stage where Yates is going to be really important because he's pretty much our only help in the mountains. I think that... See, I have to... I can't look at what I'm doing with... Uh, what's it called? It's my toothed. So, what I'm doing now, I, I can... I can set this effort up here, but I have to click on Jaren to actually... And uh, kind of know what I'm doing. But now let's see if I can actually get away from the four riders behind me and just solo up to... I don't know what pace you go at. Started at 75 here. It's going to slowly go more and more uphill. I think I might have missed up attacking. But I will never know until we try it out. It is Froome's team com combined with Contador. Who's taking most of the work up front here. Caught Nilsson up there for the sprint now for some reason. Don't think he'll have much of a chance in the sprint. And we've been caught. I think I'm one of the weakest riders. Yeah, all these four riders here, apart from maybe Stam Snyder, are probably going to drop me. And they're probably also going to get caught Taps. So his plan was actually pretty smart getting a gap before the final climb, but I don't know if he's got enough of a gap to the main riders behind him. So now it's up to Chavez to see if I can actually catch how many riders, because this is a stage where I actually need to gain time instead of just. And now, now I would really like Yates to go up to me here. Where is he? Okay, he decided not to. So now, the other, other teams will have to uh, respond instead. So my Tooth is pretty much gone now. Tafla is caught as well. I might as well just start going around 90 instead now. With Swine Tooth. Oh, but that is just stormed by, but I'm in great condition here. So I'm going to do the same thing. Up behind and past the yeah, contenders for the, for the stage win from the breakaway. Now it's Kwiatkowski, Valverde and myself. We've dropped through. It's probably going to end up more of a, of a hill stage compared because this is such a steep final climb and 19% uh, gradients at this point. Valverde seems the strongest. But I don't know how much energy I have left. He has left, of course. I think my my plus five may might just be able to save me here. Oh, we're going side by side, and Valverde just stands up in his wheel here. I think it's going to be a photo finish. 
Let's just see from the side here. Oh, this is close. I think Valverde is going to go past me now. Ah, Valverde has got this, hasn't he? Oh. Yes! That was so close, I couldn't tell who won that. Kwiatkowski takes third, and we actually gained about a minute today. I was really impressed that I actually ended up winning the stage. Van Garland actually, the fastest from the peloton, ahead of Froome here, takes uh, fourth, Froome fifth, Moreno, Contador not anywhere to be seen yet. All the way down here behind his own teammate, Contador with a terrible day. I think he's going to lose like 30 seconds to uh, the Froome group in about maybe a minute or two to uh, me. Which is great news. Quintana not really up there as well, I saw him up here somewhere, I think it was, yeah. But great stage for me. I, do, I didn't see Yates either, but yeah, he's sitting in the pelts and he could probably, yeah, he has plenty of any left. He could probably have gotten top 20 as well, but I saved him for another day. I'll just say that I forgot about him pretty much because the the, the stage win battle was so exciting. You can see Valverde sitting up in, the up in his chair, but it still ended up winning. Don't know how I thought he was going to overtake me. I just had enough energy left to beat him, up, beat him out here in the final meters. You can see the line there, uh, I, am, I am a little bit ahead, but this is probably the closest finish I've ever had. So pretty excited about that. Yeah, we win 10 seconds down to Vyakovsky, a minute to Froome and TJ Van Garden. 148 to Contador. Uh, Quintana got the same time as Moreno and Gesink. Let's see what else we had down here. Yeah, Yates, Cardinal Nielsen actually in 36th place. Yates, where is Yates? There he is. He lost four minutes, which is, means that I think he drops out of top 20 down to 25. I could probably have have kept him actually in the top 15, maybe in top 10, if I just maybe done a little bit more effort on the stage. But still a pretty good job. Uh, Chavez now a minute ahead, almost of Valverde. Kwiatkowski probably not going to be a threat overall, as uh, the mountain would be too tough for him. But three Skyriders top five is still very impressive. Froome and Koenig up there as well. Quintana and Cazador down in outside of top 5 still, so not the best start from them, but uh, probably the proudest of United States win in a long time. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, I really did. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for stage 9, which I believe is another hill stage, yeah, from Sistana to Oviedo. Uh, ends up hill as well, so should be a similar finish, even though it is not as steep it seems, and not as long of a climb. But that's, that's it for tomorrow. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.